Make it personal, unraveling the meaning. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. We're delving into a fascinating phrase in the English language, make it personal. This phrase is rich in meaning and is widely used in various contexts. Understanding it can add depth to your conversations and help you express yourself more effectively. Let's explore what it means to make something personal and how you can use this phrase in your daily interactions. Make it personal generally means to take something general or impersonal and give it a personal touch or connection. It's about transforming something to reflect personal aspects, feelings, or experiences. When you make something personal, you're not just dealing with it on a superficial level. You're deeply connecting with it on a personal level. Personalizing objects or gifts. In a material sense, making something personal can involve customizing or tailoring it to suit an individual's taste or preference. For instance, engraving a name on a piece of jewelry or customizing a gift makes it personal. In relationships and interactions, in relationships, making it personal means to invest emotional energy and thought into your interactions. It's about going beyond the surface level and genuinely connecting with someone on a deeper, more individual level. In work and projects, in professional settings, when someone says to make it personal, they're often encouraging you to put your unique stamp on a project or task. It's about bringing your own perspective, creativity, and passion to your work, making it stand out and resonate more with the audience. While making something personal can have positive connotations, it's essential to understand its emotional depth. In conflicts or arguments, telling someone don't make it personal, is a plea to keep the discussion objective and not let personal feelings or attacks overtake the primary issue. It's crucial to navigate the fine line between personalizing positively and letting personal emotions cloud judgment or lead to unnecessary conflict. Today, we've uncovered the layers behind the phrase, make it personal. Whether it's adding a personal touch to gifts, deepening our relationships, or infusing passion into our work, making something personal can enrich our lives in numerous ways. However, it's also vital to recognize the emotional weight this phrase can carry and use it wisely. I hope you found this video insightful and that it helps you communicate more effectively and meaningfully in English. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next lesson.